Sporting dog adventures run, that boy, was run. Awesome. Everything you Good need boy. is here, here under the sun. Everything you need is here under the sun. Hey, welcome to Sporting Dog Adventures. A question I get often at our kennel side Acres Retrievers is how does a Labrador Retriever pregnancy go? First thing I tell people is that from the time a female goes into season to take home is roughly about four months. So the time the girl goes into season, she's bred and the puppies grow about four months in time. Gestation for a Labrador Retriever puppy is roughly 61 to 63 days. So you have between eight and 12 puppies in a Labrador Retriever, and they're all formed in right around two months. Once the puppies are born, they're actually born deaf and blind, and they rely on their mother. There's something called a whelping box that you set up. Our whelping boxes for Labrador Retrievers is four feet by four feet, and it has a top rail around the whelping box that is called, in essence, a pig rail, because they're used for pigs. What happens is, Puppies crawl to the outside of the box, and if they stayed there and didn't have the rail to protect them, where the mother couldn't lay against them, they would actually get pinned against the wall and they could perish. We also put a heat lamp in, and with our kennel, I keep it at about 72 degrees when the puppies are very small, but they still need a heat lamp, about 18 inches above the floor, and that is there so that the puppies, if they're cold, can crawl to it, and when they're warm, they can crawl away from it. But they're unable to fully regulate their body temperature. So you want to have it set up that way so that they're comfortable and so it's safe for them. We do not have soft surfaces in a whelping box. If you have a blanket or loose carpet in a whelping box, what could happen is disaster. You could have where the puppy is underneath that carpet and the mother lays down to feed the other puppies and the puppy would actually get suffocated. So that's why when you see a whelping box, it's set up, it's sterile, it's hard surfaces, and we do put in newspaper that is ripped up. But other than that, there aren't any stuffed animals, and there's nothing in there that could put the puppies in a precarious situation, or if it got wet, could have bacteria or disease. Sporting Dog Adventures is presented by the Kansas Department of Wildlife, Parks, and Tourism, Boucher Automotive, Fleet Farm, Heavy Shot, Mac Outdoors, Rite Inertia Driven Shotguns, and Soggy Acres Retrievers. Hey, welcome to Season 9 of Sporting Dog Adventures. Please like our videos, share them, and spread the word to all your friends. So we've got our whelping box in. It's four foot by four foot. It's got a removable bottom in it that we sanitize every day. And we now hook up our heat lamp. We're going to put this in about 18 inches. So it's going to be right around in that area. And again, this is so the puppies can crawl in and out. And so they can uh, warm themselves when warm. And then if they're too warm, they can crawl away from it. Now we take this, plug it in, and our heat lamp is ready to go. So we're probably 16 inches or so. You want to make it again so that they get enough heat off of the lamp but yet so that it's not too hot for him. So this is set up perfect. Now we gotta do is get the dog. This is Memphis. Memphis is about to have her first litter. She still has 10 days to go, and it's time for her to go into her whelping box. Kate is first having her a puppy shower, so Memphis is gonna have, in essence, a baby shower for a dog, and then it's time for her to go off to the kennel and get into the whelping box and get ready to have her litter. A neat fact is you actually monitor a dog's temperature and when their temperature drops about two degrees from what their baseline is, so baseline being something you've established over a few days, they actually will have the puppies generally about 12 hours <laughs> after, their, uh, after their temperature drops. After two weeks, the puppy's eyes open, they can hear, and they go mobile. You keep them here at the kennel until they're about seven weeks old. They are weaned around, from mother around five weeks, and weaned is where they are no longer reliant on her milk, and they are all eating food. Once they hit seven weeks, they've learned how to be a dog, and it's time for them to go to their homes and hit the world. 
you're looking for more information about dogs, check out our website, www.sockyacres.com. It's time to go put Memphis in the whelping box. We are going to have her puppy show on later in the season, so make sure you look for it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Come here. Good girl. What? Good girl. You can have babies? Yes. You can have babies. Oh, yes. Nothing beats a good pheasant hunt with my sons. We're headed to Kansas this winter. The state has some of the world's best populations of upland game, making it one of America's top bird hunting destinations. Kansas provides mixed bag opportunities and 1.5 million acres of public hunting lands. All that makes Kansas an ideal destination. The season runs from the second weekend in November to the end of January. Go to ksoutdoors.com and plan your trip today.